Live from the Channel 4 Newsroom, it's the Nightly News. Hello and welcome to tonight's edition of the Channel 4 News. I am your host, Albert Landon, and here are tonight's top stories. The PS5 is continuing to increase in popularity, yet decrease in supply. Every day it becomes more difficult to find new consoles, especially with Christmas right around the corner. It has become so bad that angry shoppers have waged full-on war on each other. Now we did send our reporter Guy Percy on the scene. However, he was abruptly held at gunpoint and kidnapped. We are still waiting for a ransom to be announced. As for weather, the five-day forecast suggests that acid rain is scheduled for Friday. This marks the first acid rainstorm in the history of ever. 2020 just keeps surprising us. So, if you do go outside, be sure to not only bring your mask, but also an umbrella made of titanium. Due to the lack of sports during the pandemic, we no longer see a need for the sports department, meaning our commentator Jan will sadly no longer be a part of the Channel 4 news crew. Let's check in with Jan on his last day at the studio. Hi Jan, how are you doing today? Oh, I don't know, Albert. I just got laid off my job. I'm the only source of income for my family. I have five hungry kids at home and a wife on the brink of divorce. How do you think I feel? I wasn't trying to sound mean. I'm just trying to keep everyone positive during these hard times. Not too positive, I hope. Or else you would be out of a job, too. But don't worry about me. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I'm totally fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm a mess. Well, um, Merry Christmas, Jan. And for our final story, something happy for once. A litter of kittens found on the side of the road were rescued today um, and- sir. Newsflash just came in. Never mind that happy story. Uh, breaking news, Christmas mascot Nicholas Kristoff Kringle, also known as Santa Claus, has been arrested for assault and battery. This happened at the city mall today and we have a video. Let's take a look. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? I want a PS5! Oh yes, of course, of course. Ahem. You. Oh, great. We have a code red, Karen protocol. You're a saboteur. You're tricking these kids into indirectly telling their parents what they want instead of having them write letters to me. You're ruining my business. Hey, man. I'm just an employee trying to do his job, all right? That's Yo, my job. Speak to the manager. <coughs> Holy frick! <coughs> Mommy! Mommy! Santa's killing himself! Have mercy. You deserve nothing. You don't even deserve a spot on the naughty list, you're that evil. <coughs> don't worry, everyone. Christmas is saved. <coughs> You can't do this to me! I have a holiday to run! You know what? Screw this! Kids, take notes! Santa Claus thinks all cops are- We have another update. We now have an official statement from the North Pole. Let's listen in. Um, hello everyone. My name is Joel E. Elf. I'm the spokesman for the North Pole. And, yeah, Santa's being arrested. Um, we're pretty sure he was under the influence. We, uh, can't confirm yet, but his eggnog stash was completely empty. And, unfortunately, with Santa in jail, that means Christmas is cancelled on our end. Um, we apologize to all the children of the world. This is something we never expected would happen. We are awaiting trial, and that is all I'm obligated to say right now. Oh wait, also, Mrs. Claus has COVID. Now, that's all. Of 
course that happened. It's like they say, 2020, just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. And with that, that concludes tonight's broadcast. We want to thank you for tuning in tonight, and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And remember to stay safe, stay hopeful, be kind to one another, and please donate to the Salvation Army. Man, screw the Salvation Army! Give me your money, please! I need food, I need sleep, I need marriage counseling, I need a Christmas miracle for once! This and that concludes our broadcast day. Job.